What is up everybody? It is JAC Aviation and today we're going to be doing the first video of multiple videos of the mold, mold comparisons, comparisons from different companies. So yeah, let's get started. The aircraft and the companies that we're going to be comparing today, we're going to be comparing the Boeing 757-200 from Gemini Jets and NG Models. So yeah, let's just, uh, let's do it. First off, we're going to be starting with the NG Models version. So right here we have the cockpit windows with the dolphin shaped nose with the Sterlines titles, the L1 boarding door, the United Billboard titles, and then the L2 boarding door right here. I will say in terms of like the landing gear and the detail just on the, um, on the door, NG Models is killing it with that as of right now. And then you have like just the very small details that they have on side of the United aircraft. And here at the middle section, we have the Rolls-Royce engines, I'm pretty sure, with the two window exits over here and the exit path lighting. Nice wing detail and the winglet is just amazing. Like the little pick at the top, I don't know if that's on all 757 aircraft, but I do know it does look pr really nice. Then we have the Wi-Fi box back here as well as the landing gear which are highly detailed and towards the back we have the nice graphics um, with the gold different colors and then the l3 boarding door i think with the u.s flag and the registration so overall the ng models version of the 757 200 is very nice like it's probably one of my favorites out there but now let's just move on to the Gemini Jets version. And here we have the Gemini Jets Boeing 757-200. Um, yeah, so let's uh, get in, get into it. So here we have the cockpit windows, and I actually do think that the um, NG models is more accurate. It seems like it has a better nose with the landing gear, which these landing gears seem kind of high compared to the um, NG models version. The details on the door, let me see if it will focus here. The engine or the versions on the door, the de the details are pretty good. You know, the billboard type. This does the front does kind of look a little wonky. I will say that the Wi-Fi box is good though. Very nice detail. And I am going to note one thing. I do think the NG models and this are two different types because, as you'll see here. Uh, they have this extra door and no window exits, but the NG Models has window exits. I don't know. I think we have some Royals, Royals Royce engines right here as well. Oh, there we go. And then we have the winglet in the back. Now, I am going to say these are like, I think, the winglets that they put on their Airbus A319 aircrafts, if I'm pretty sure. But I, I prefer the... A39 or the 757 from NG uh, in terms of the winglet. I don't know if it's correct completely, but I personally like the more the design better. And then you have the wings here with nice detail and the um, landing gear in the back. And then don't mind this because whoa. And then here we are at the tail. Don't mind this. This is actually my fault because my dog actually knocked it off the table and it did break so i had to super glue it but oh yeah it's pretty good i mean the horizontal stabilizer is straight it's just these back things which that was totally my fault i guess it was my dog's fault but like it is pretty good if it will focus and overall i do would i would say both of the molds from the companies are amazing and it's just however the aircraft actually looks in real life but if i were to go between these two i would have to say that the united one would have to win just because i feel like the detail or not the united one um the ng models version is just i feel like it's just more detailed and it's more realistic um so yeah if you if you have any other requests for videos that I should do, please leave them in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.